How can we become afraid of things that don't harm us? Some of the first researchers to experiment with this were called Watson and Rayner back with their little Alba experiment in 1919. They wanted to see if they could take a nine month old boy and make him afraid of things that were neutral objects. To begin with, they simply presented him with a white rat, which he wasn't afraid of. In fact, he actually went to try and pet it. But shortly after, they banged loudly on a steel hammer behind Albert, making him cry. Then they did the exact same thing while presenting him with the rat, and eventually he became afraid of the rat even without the bang. Little Albert's fears then began to spread to other little furry objects, and his mother pulled him out of the study before the researchers could decondition him. She was only paid $1 for his participation and wasn't informed that he would be scared, which is an ethical violation of today's standards. It's called classical conditioning and it has multiple applications to our daily lives like advertisers making us associate happy feelings with their products or psychologists using it to unwind out phobia.